perfect. I always say, when you gain their confidence, you gain their cooperation. And when we are asking people to stretch um, in ways that they have been unable to in the past, oftentimes with the presentation of their home, we need for them to trust us and cooperate, right? Because we know what we're talking about and we just don't, I just would like for it all to be uh, more sustainable. Attitude, you can see my attitude, I'm getting glistening here. My attitude, how do we motivate and encourage our clients to invest the time, attention, and money necessary to meet today's buyer standards? With our confidence. Confidence is contagious and so is the lack of confidence. If you don't really believe it yourself, they won't believe it either. And that's the truth of it. So this is what we do, folks. I'm going to show you three screens, and this is what I want you to absorb. I want you to completely understand you are a high-functioning professional dealing with an extreme amount of liability, something that is not unlike this doctor right here. So the attitude with, I don't care if you're as, I'm super outgoing and uplifting and positive and happy and like to be silly, but when it's time to get down to work, when I'm showing up, I show up with the attitude of a doctor. I'm here and I'm, I'm going to express a lot of concern along with confident reassurance. I'm concerned down below. I want to evaluate your property as soon as possible so that we can be sure you're ready when it's time to list your home. Curb appeal, by the way, is one of those ones that can get you over to their house very quickly. I like to say to people, if, if I even get wind that they're considering selling like next year, I'll say, you know what? I've, I've completely retooled my team so we can do unbelievable things in a short amount of time on the interior of your home but the exterior with curb appeal especially here in texas sometimes it just straight up takes time to cultivate so i'm going to call you next week and i'm going to come on by there because i'm concerned that um i want to get your home evaluated so that we know what we're dealing with and we give ourselves the gift of time to cultivate what's necessary on your curb appeal which by the way is the most important aspect of the sale of this home because buyers judge a home based off first impressions and this happens in under four minutes according to the national association of realtors in fact the first layer of their perception happens within the first 15 seconds and that's all curb appeal I'm coming up and I don't even ask him, can I call you and can I come over out of concern? I insist. I'll say, I'm going to give you a call next weekend. We're going to, we're going to find a time where I can come by and take a look. And even better, I'll tell him that I might be bringing my landscaper or my stager with me if I feel like it's necessary. Right. Another example, I'm concerned this front yard is not going to send the right message to your buyer, but I've got a few ideas and some wonderful resources to remedy it. So it's this back and forth. I put the fear of concern out there, but I don't leave them there. The whole idea is you make them concerned. Now, they thought they were fine. Now you let them know, they're so, I'm really concerned. And then you come in with that confident reassurance. And that's how we begin to become invaluable to them. They begin to go, oh, God, you know, she's going to help us. An outgoing marketing message of yours can be, how soon is it to call your realtor? If you're considering making any improvements with resale in mind, it's never too soon. Contact me not only to unlock all of my available resources, but to also guide you in those selections so that when you are ready to sell it next year or the year after, you have painted your color, the cabinet, the appropriate color. You have made decisions that are on the front end of the trend. Call your realtor. It's never too soon to call your realtor if you're making improvements with resale in mind. That's a great market, outgoing marketing message for you. So sometimes we, we imagine ourselves like put on that doctor. Here's another one. Assume the energy of a high paid defense attorney, right? I'm a lawyer, right? Don't ask permission to do your job. Stop asking permission. If a lawyer was in court, if they turned to me and asked me, do you think we, I feel like we should object here. Would you be comfortable if we objected? Right, Fred, Jeff, you get me. You're like, I'd be like, yeah, you're fired is what you are. I do not feel safe. Guys, 
when you exude authority, my shoulders as the client just relax because I know I am in safe hands. You're going to do what needs to get done to get the results that I've hired you for, regardless of whether I am emotionally today, right? You are the professional, cool, calm, confident, and executing what needs to happen. And you don't ask my permission. You just tell me what needs to happen. Examples. Guys, this color is beautiful as it is. This color is way too bold. I'm going to send my painter over to provide us with an estimate. Don't ask if you can send your painter over, because guess what? They'll say, no, I don't know if I want that. I don't know if I can afford it. Blah, 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 blah. We're going to get this paint, this home neutralized. And so I'm going to get my painter over here to get us a couple estimates, okay, on that. You just tell them what you're doing. Let's take a look at our calendars to determine a good day for my home stager to come over and evaluate this home. Will you open it? Open, the only question I might ask is, will you open up your calendar? Because we're coming back over here with my stager, right? So stop asking permission to bring a stager over. I know a realtor who did that in San Antonio. She knew that it needed to be updated, but she made the fatal mistake of saying, can I, invite, can I get a stager's eyes on this? They said, we have paid so much for a professional interior designer. We have invested so much in this home. No, we're going to be just fine. And guess what? It's out there for 18 months and over $20,000 in price reductions and still no activity. Finally, because we grow at the speed of pain, they finally got so uncomfortable. They said, okay, fine, bring the stager over, right? It's 18 months later, how many thousand dollars lost? The stager came in who's trained to make low cost, high impact adjustments before they even got the professional to come over and take pictures. The realtor started taking pictures of the updated kitchen and those changes, those things that were objections in the buyer's mind, kicking them into the critical part of the brain and not allowing them to fall in love, right? We didn't want to fall in love. And so um, she got the home sold. She started sharing on social media. Oh, it's really coming around. It's looking so beautiful. Started sharing pictures. She had agents calling. I've got somebody who wants this. I've got somebody who wants it. And they sold it. So let's avoid the painful process and get in there and do our job they've hired us to do. Stop asking permission. And the third, but last but not least, it also feels a lot like this, like a coach, right? So I'm going to focus on their strengths and their potential and keep reminding them that I see it and we're nearly there to the end zone. We're nearly there to the closing table. So I know that this is a lot of hard work, but transformation is in sight. You are nearly there, guys. I'm coaching them. I'm encouraging them. You have an exceptional home. And I know that once we remove all these objections, people are going to fall in love with it and they're going to start bringing you their best offers. That's what I do. I help people attract the most quality offers and multiples that often drive that price up. This is who you are. And don't for a second diminish the professional integrity that you are. You, you guys have to, to manage and negotiate and think of so much. It is, you are a high professional. So the overall strategy.